listen to the reasoning in the first 10 minutes of why he decided to go build it on the Ethereum blockchain and, and to work with Ethereum. Okay, I'll cut right to the chase. I'll put a link down for you to watch the, the interview. The, the reason behind going to Ethereum was not that it's a proven crypto. It's not that it's more secure for, you know, of a currency. Uh, it's not anything related to do with finances or financial uh, financial things. It's because it's easier for them to program to do to write their program. They could do it on the block, Bitcoin and Litecoin blockchains, but they choose to do it on Ethereum because it's easier. I wonder personally now if it would be easier to write it on top of Rootstock than it would be on to write it on top of uh, the Bitcoin blockchain. www.rsk.co is Turing complete side chain that runs on top of the Bitcoin network. So it's basically like Ethereum for Bitcoin, but it doesn't. But it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't challenge Bitcoin or compete with Bitcoin the way Ethereum does for market cap and all of this kind of stuff. And my long-term criticism has been and will continue to be is that Ethereum is a bad money. It's a bad monetary system. The reason why I got into Bitcoin and Litecoin is because Bitcoin and Litecoin are a good money system. They've been around for a few years now. They've proven themselves to uh, be very solid. And, uh, and Ethereum has been forked uh, at least two times that I know of. There are th three different ex Ethereum uh, coins out there. EXP ETH and ETC, and it just goes to, sh I mean, the centralized nature of Ethereum, the central planning of Ethereum, uh, I, it turns me off, I don't want nothing to do with it. Bitcoin and Litecoin are, are, are a good, solid financial option. They may be hard to program on, they may be diff more difficult for programmers to work with, but what I'm not, I'm not concerned with how difficult or how simple a, uh, a side chain or, or uh, something to, I don't care how difficult it is for a programmer. My main concern is the solid foundation that it's built on. Bitcoin and Litecoin have proven themselves over time to be a good, solid foundation. And they're not trying to do a bunch of complicated things. They are simply trying to be money, be a distributed ledger. And now what we're seeing, we're seeing, what, what is that, yours.network? Okay, that's, that's basically like a steemit that's going to be built on top of the Bitcoin network. Uh, rootstock, which is basically like an Ethereum that's going to be placed on top of the Bitcoin network. And now all these people are investing in Ethereum and, you know, I listen to people trying to keep it pumped up and they really want, you know, they don't want to let it die, which I think it needs to do. It needs to go away. It's a bad money. I'm not going to get it. If somebody wants to trade with me, they're going to have to convert their Ethereum into Bitcoin or Litecoin, which are two proven networks, and uh, that's just the way I see it. But I think with what you see with all these altcoins, possibly even with like a Dash or a Monero where they're anonymous, you could probably...
probably build a side chain on top of Bitcoin and Litecoin that would make them anonymous. I would imagine. I don't know. But I'm guessing that's the way it is. And, you know, everybody saw what happened with Bitcoin and how, how the money, or how it, it took off. And they want, us, they want to be on the next big thing. But I'm telling you, I don't think there is going to be a next big thing. I think Bitcoin and Litecoin are going to be the gold and silver. And, and the nice thing about that, and, and this is why I like Bit, or Litecoin so much, is because it, it mirrors almost, almost exactly Bitcoin. Now, I'm sure there's different differences in the code, but Litecoin has some awesome engineers that are just quietly watching the Bitcoin uh, drama unfold, and they're they're engineers and they're watching. Oh, this was this needed to be fixed, and they look at Litecoin. Yep, we better fix that in Litecoin. So they fix it, and they tweak it, and they're building these robust, solid blockchains. It'll be like. MasterCard and Visa, okay, and this is how I see it, but what it does for you and me, who missed out on the, and I, I don't think we necessarily missed out on the Bitcoin boom, but, you know, one of my criticisms with Bitcoin is, you know, people didn't really see it coming until it was like here, you know, and by then the price is over a thousand dollars. But we can look at Litecoin and say, well, it's a little, it's a little Bitcoin. And the barrier to entry is very accessible for people like me who uh, are, uh, you know, just regular Joes. And so that's why I like Litecoin because... I mean, all these miners and these computer techies, I don't want them to be my overlords and because they knew how to mine, because they, you know, really understood the crypto universe before I did. So that's why I like Litecoin and that's why I suggest, I don't, you know, you do what you got to do because Litecoin could, I mean, Ethereum could win the propaganda war and people could just buy it. So do it your own. You know, I ain't telling you what to do. But as for me... I am supporting Litecoin because of what I've just said. You know, but watch that video and uh, just just the first 10 minutes is really all you need. If you're interested in Augur, then watch the whole thing. But he gives his reasoning for why he built it on the, uh, why he built it on the Ethereum blockchain. And it's not, it has nothing to do with security or or uh, anything like that, he built it there because it's easier. Well, I understand that. It's only natural, you know, if you, if you can go that way or you can go that way, go that way. But if, you know, there's a problem with going that way, maybe you need to go that way. So if there's a traffic jam, you know what I'm saying? So, and that's just the way that I see. Uh, so all of this stuff that's coming out, being developed on the Ethereum blockchain I think in time it's all going to come out on Bitcoin and then it'll and then it'll soon follow on Litecoin and uh, and I think it's important for people like me and I I'm guessing you who are spending your hard earned money to get into this space to in, to invest it wisely don't just follow the herd Make them follow the little people, okay? 80, 84 million Litecoins. There are there are there are eighty four million hardworking men and women out there who can do that around the world. We can we can make light. 
just rough numbers, 80% was raised at the pre-sale or the pre-mine, which is dirty. Um, and then, like, about, I'm guessing, 10-15% is, is what was released to the public or mined on an annual basis for uh, the people to fight over, which... And then Tone Faze pointed out that the guys at Ethereum also received a ton of Bitcoin. And if you know about the founders of Bitcoin, there, Joseph Lubin was a former hedge fund manager and uh, he worked at Goldman Sachs, the big banks. The Ethereum people are... are uh, are catering to R3, which are big banks like USB and HBC and all this kind of stuff, and Goldman Sachs. And frankly, the reason why I'm in crypto is to take the power away from not, uh, from them, not to give it back to them. So, reject. It's not investment advice, it's revolution advice. Reject Ethereum stay strong with Bitcoin and Litecoin. If you don't like risk, well, you're probably in the wrong space, but if you if, you're, if you just want to be safe, stick with Bitcoin and don't worry about it. Just keep buying. Put them on paper wallets, hold your own private keys. If you don't mind a little risk, throw some into Litecoin. You know, 